Today in the news, we explore the fiery world of melty connectors and AMD makes the smart decision. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA. As you might have heard, things are heating up. There's been whispers everywhere online about that new 12 pin or 12 plus four pin or 12 VHPWR connector, either catching fire or melting connectors or both. Actually, yesterday, this post went viral on Reddit and Twitter with user Reggie Gakil posting his uh, ooey gooey melty connector. Now, let's be clear, this can happen with any connectors. In fact, it happened on one of my old systems with my 8-pin EPS CPU connector. But to have it happen so consistently is kind of worrying. The 4090 just got out and we're seeing melted connectors back to back. Here's an other one that was posted today. No Duels Policy responded to Reggie's post saying that it had happened to him too, this time on an Asus Tough Gaming OC card. And while I was writing this boot sequence, I found another one on WCCF Tech coming from Facebook with a melty connector. I mean, this is kind of insane. Now, to me, it's pretty clear why this is happening on that connector. I mean, it's been explained by others, but I haven't heard people uh, talk about the actual reaction here or actually showing physically what's happening. So let me do that here for you. I brought some props. So I have this right here, as you can see, these are eight pin power connectors. Um, I'm gonna take out uh, a female and a male end. So one of those and one of those. This is a lot harder than it seems. Okay, I give up. I did two earlier, so I'm just gonna use these instead of actually taking some out right now. So there they are. You have the female end and the male end, and when the male end enters the female, it makes a solid connection on at least three to four sides of the female end. But if the cable is not inserted fully or at an angle, then you got a connection with less surface area. If the cable is bent though, things get even worse. Some connectors are just a sheet of folded metal. You can see the seam right there. So by applying a sideways force, the female end could start opening up about its feelings. I mean, opening up and permanently damage itself. With just a couple of unplugs and replugs and cable management tugs, oh, that rhymed. If it's bent repeatedly, up, down, left, and right, the connection between the two becomes less and less secure. And this is where Ohm's law comes into action. The less secure the connection, the more the resistance goes up. The more resistance goes up, the more heat builds. And I mean, the GPU is still trying to pull the amps. So while the current might be dropping too, the load is just continuously high. So eventually the resistance is so great that it reaches super high temperatures and boom, that's how you get the 12 pin on white bread with Swiss extra cheese melt. Melted cables is obviously what I meant, but notice that it happens or at least mostly starts on the top corners of the connector. These are the pins that usually get the most stress when connecting, bending, and disconnecting the cables. So yeah, these connectors suck. And I seriously cannot believe that, you know, people in the industry not only defend this connector, but at the same time also say that most of the problems are user error. We're just trying to plug something into another. It also sucks because the eight pin connectors were absolutely great. Anyways, now at least you kind of know why this is happening. So make sure you keep your bends at a minimum and dock into the GPU like you were docking into the space station, uh, Matthew McConaughey style, I'm gonna say. I really wonder what's the next step here. Are we actually going to see something change? The 12 VH power connector isn't that standardized uh, and it could just vanish by the next generation. Let me explain. ATX 3.0 is an ATX standard. The 12.4 pin connector is a, well, PCIe standard. You can and likely will see a lot of ATX 3.0 power supplies without the 12.4 pin or 12VH power connector. They're not mutually exclusive. Or at least what you'll see is just an eight pin on the power supply side and an optional cable that goes from eight pin or two eight pins to a 12 pin included in the box of your power supply. My personal hope is that it just goes away. Thankfully though, it looks like AMD is planning on staying away from this connector. Angstronomics, which has previously detailed the RDNA 3 chips, has recently said that the reference model of the higher end RX 7000 series should be equipped with dual eight pin connectors 
near the three red heatsink fins. But Angstronomics wasn't alone. Kyle Bennett also confirmed it with his sources, and today, freaking Scott Herkelman, AMD's, uh, what is he already? SVP and GM of AMD Radio. So he's the senior vice president and the general manager of Radeon. Well, he just confirmed it that absolutely none of the RX 7000 series will have the 12 pin connector or 12 plus four pin, whatever you want to call it. And it's no surprise that AMD doesn't want to go to the 600 watt connector. I mean, the RDNA architecture is very efficient and generation after generation, AMD targets over a 50% performance per watt increase. So yeah, kudos to AMD. So what are your thoughts on all this? Let me know down below. Breaking news here, right before we go to the uh, outro. Uh, apparently, that same cable is having some issues, at least for Be Quiet specifically. There were three community members who uh, basically tried to use the 12 volt power connector, uh, but the individual connectors were coming loose, literally popping out of the 16 pin connector housing. Uh, as you can see here, the contact is literally exposed. Thankfully, no fires were started so far, knock on wood. That's not wood. There you go. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Leave a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about today's stories. As usual, it's right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.